use these tweaks for better FPS and ping in Fortnite Chapter 5. Hey guys, welcome to this video where I'll be sharing some awesome tweaks to boost your FPS and ping in Fortnite Chapter 5. If you find any of these tips useful, I'd really appreciate it if you could give the video a like or even consider subscribing. These tips have really helped me out and I hope they'll do the same for you. So let's dive straight into it. So first up, let's talk about tweaking your power plan. Here's what you do. Hit that Windows key, type in choose a power plan, and hit enter. Once that window pops up, you'll see a bunch of power options. Now if you're all about maxing out your FPS, you'll want to go for the high performance setting. And hey, if you've got one of those beefed up PCs, you might even see an option for ultimate performance. Go ahead and give that a shot if it's there. Alright, for this next tweak, let's amp up Fortnite's performance to ensure our PC is running it as smoothly as possible. There are two ways you can do this. Method 1, hit the Windows key, type in Graphic Settings, and press Enter. Once you're there, click on Browse and locate the drive where Fortnite is installed. Look for the Fortnite Game Binaries folder and select the Fortnite client without any extra letters at the end. If you're not sure where Fortnite is located in the Epic Games Launcher, click on the three dots next to Fortnite, then hit Manage, and click on the little folder icon next to Installation to reveal the location. Method 2. With Fortnite running, right-click on your taskbar and then click on Details. Scroll down until you find all the Fortnite.exe files. Right-click on each one, hover over, set priority, and choose Pi. Repeat this for all the Fortnite files you see. These tweaks should help squeeze out some extra performance while you're in the game. Okay, let's dive into the next tweak. Getting rid of any background apps or processes that might be slowing down your PC and affecting your game performance. Here's how you do it. Method 1. Press the Windows key, type Background Apps, and hit Enter. You'll see a list of background apps that are running. Chances are, you won't need most of them while gaming, so go ahead and disable them all. Method 2. Head back to the Task Manager. Under the Processes tab, you'll find Background Processes. Take a look through these and disable anything you know you're not using. Just be sure to only disable stuff you're familiar with. If you're not sure what something is, it's best not to mess with it. By cutting down on these background distractions, you should see smoother gameplay and better performance overall. Alright, let's tackle our next tweak, clearing out those pesky temporary files that can bog down your PC. Here's what you do. Press the Windows key and R simultaneously. This will open the Run command box. In there, type percent temp percent and hit OK. You'll see a bunch of temporary files. Just press Ctrl A to select them all, then right click and hit delete. If you get a prompt asking if you want to do this for all current items, just check that box and press skip. Once done, you can close out of this window. Repeat the same process two more times. Hit Windows and R on your keyboard again, but this time, just type temp. Again, select all with Ctrl A, delete, and if prompted, do it for all current items and then skip. For the final round, hit Windows and R again and type prefetch. These are more temporary files slowing things down, so go ahead and delete them all too. By doing this, you'll clear out unnecessary clutter and give your PC a little boost in performance. Alright, let's walk through the next tweak. Adjusting our DNS settings in the Ethernet or Internet settings. Here's how you can do it. Press the Windows key then head to Settings. From there, go to Network and Internet and under Advanced Network Settings, click on Change Adapter Options. Right-click on the adapter you're using. Then select Properties. Look for Internet Protocol version 4 and click on it, then hit Properties. Check the box that says Use the following DNS server addresses and enter the DNS addresses provided. If one set doesn't work well for you, there's an alternative shown on the screen. Click OK and then navigate back to the Properties window. Here, you can uncheck QoS Packet Scheduler, Microsoft Network Adapter Multiplexor Protocol, and the two Link Layer Topology Discovery options. Once you've unchecked those settings, you can close the window. By making these adjustments, you might see an improvement in your internet connection and gaming experience. Alright, let's tackle the next tweak. Disabling Game Bar and Enabling Game Mode. Here's how to do it. Hit the Windows key and head back to your settings. Once there, select Gaming. Under Game Bar, disable this option. It just records your game in the background, so unless you need it, it's better to turn it off. Next, find the option for Game Mode and enable it. This is a window setting that optimizes your PC for gaming. If you find that you don't like the effects of Game Mode, you can always come back here and turn it off again in the settings. 
By making these adjustments, you can potentially improve your gaming experience by optimizing your PC's performance for gaming. Let's dive into the next couple of tweaks which involve settings both in the Epic Launcher and Fortnite itself. Open your Epic Games Launcher and head to the library. Once there, click on the three dots next to Fortnite, then select Options. Uncheck the boxes for high resolution textures and direct X12 shaders. If you don't play Save the World, feel free to uncheck that box as well. Now, let's talk about the pre-download streamed assets box. Make sure this one is checked. What it does is pre-download in-game cosmetics so you're not stuck downloading them while playing. This can help reduce lag spikes and FPS drops. Once you've made these adjustments, click apply to save your changes. By tweaking these settings, you can potentially improve your gaming performance in Fortnite. Let's tackle the final tweak, which involves adjusting your in-game settings in Fortnite. Start by using the performance mode option for the best performance in Fortnite. However, to tweak your graphic settings, you'll need to switch back to DX11. Navigate to your settings, go to video rendering mode, select DX11, apply the changes, and restart the game. For window mode, use full screen for optimal performance. Adjust your frame rate limit to be just above your monitor's refresh rate. For instance, if you have a 144Hz monitor, set it to 160. For 165Hz, set it to 180 and so on. Ensure that motion blur is turned off to avoid any performance hits. Set all other quality settings to either off or low for better performance. Under advanced graphics, turn off GPU crash debugging and latency markers. If you have video reflex or latency, enabling it along with the boost option. By making these adjustments, you should experience smoother gameplay and better performance in Fortnite. And oh, I almost forgot, make sure to turn off VSync as well. It's one of those settings that doesn't do any favors for your FPS in any game. Once you've adjusted all these settings, you can switch back to performance mode. So those are the tweaks to help you minimize input delay and boost your FPS. If you found this video helpful or enjoyed any of these tips, be sure to give it a thumbs up and drop me a comment below. Also, let me know what other videos you'd like to see on this channel. Your feedback is always appreciated.